and they're not really aware of foreign policy. They react to personalities. Mm -hmm. and, some, and Gene Simmons, some people like me, some people don't. But the masses seem to like me a lot because <laughs> our cable show, Gene Simmons Family Jewels on A&E, <laughs> about to start its fourth and fifth season is their number one show. And our books sell by everybody. Our tours sell out everywhere. So if people seem to think that I'm such a bad guy, who are, who are these other millions of people? No, they they kind of want to hug you and punch you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> they're allowed to hug me, and they're allowed to take the first shot, but I'm allowed to respond. That's came in a few times there, Jay. It's I like, know. God damn it, this guy, I hate him an hour ago, now I want to hug him. So, <laughs> how, <laughs> how, they're all over the place. I, how was it, though? I got to be, because, you know, roasting Gene was, was, you know, he's like... Can I take a bite? Sure, you can have the whole thing. Um, I'll actually share it with you if you want. Uh, how was it sitting there? With where? At the roast, for the comedians. Was it Was it difficult at all? Well, it wasn't difficult until my son Nick, six foot seven, uh, came on, and then I, you know, it was he started to take his own shots. He was funny. He had he had good comic timing. It wasn't their genes. Let's give polite laughs because it's Gene's son. He was actually he had the material is funny and his delivery is good. He says something about uh, Gene Simmons has a big ego, something or other, and I'd like to introduce you to Gene Simmons' biggest fan. There he is, Gene Simmons. Yeah, he was uh, he was he was really good, and it, you said something to him, and he's like, "Just shut up." <laughs> he's really yeah. funny. I mean, he really uh, people quite enjoy and him. And then he said, "Can you say inheritance?" Uh, something like that. Are you are you a tough father? <laughs> yes. They both uh, Sophie and Nick. There's no hitting. Hitting lasts a little time. That that doesn't mean anything. Right. Both Sophie and Nick are straight A students. There's no cursing allowed. Mm. Uh, the dogs won't bark. It's a real strict household. If I catch your ass once, drunk or high, you'll find yourself in the middle of the desert in a work camp. <laughs> I'm Jesus very Christ. serious. Do you, do you think they have uh, drank? No. At all? You're no. Not even a little, you know? Nothing? No, they'll call me from a party. Nick will say, can you please come and pick me up? Friends are starting to drink. Really? Yeah. And well, I'm, Can I ask you something? And I, I, why 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 uh, so strict on the drinking? Did something happen? When you, you know the up or age of, to me, no, I've never been high. But no, but uh, I mean, you, you are extremely like you. I mean, if one of your uh, children have a drink, that is going to set you over the edge. Like you no. don't want, you don't want them to even be social drinkers, a glass no. of wine or nothing. Where does that come from? Well, it's a waste of time. It doesn't work. It doesn't have vitamins, minerals. Doesn't make you smarter. There's there's no upside. Nothing. You're not going to see anything witty. Sooner or later, you're going to throw up on the girl's shoe. Later on that night, your schmeckle's not going to work. The next day, you won't remember anything, and your headache, and you'll have a headache. And uh, how do you win? Oh, what no. a great night that sounds like. No, <laughs> that's yeah. I mean, let me try that again. <laughs> hey, can you talk to Anthony, please, please, please? So, but please. here's what it is. You know the you know the old story of um, as long as you live under my roof, and it is my roof. There ain't there ain't no hour. Sure. These are my rules, and once you're out on your own. You're you're on your own, and but will you still have a relationship with them when yes. they leave the house? And if and they yes, decide to go down that road, under certain provisos, under certain provisos, the subject twos are: if you don't become a mass murderer, if you don't rob a bank, if you don't become a drunken fool and stuff like that, I'll always be there. But if you transgress, see, birth is not a birthright; it's a privilege. Somebody has given you life, and if you take advantage of that, like I watch Intervention on A and E, one of my favorite shows. These fucking losers. <laughs> And the and the and their families, their fucking loser families, because they allow this behavior. You know, let me let me give you a for instance. Your dog is eating at its bowl, and there's always some little fucking brat that screams and rants and raves and wrinkles paper, just like the way your guys do when I'm on the air. <laughs> and that little brat crawls over, two years old, and puts its hand in the dog bowl while the dog is eating. The dog will, of course, snap at the kid. That's the last time that kid will put its hand in the dog bowl. Now, if your dog knows how to raise your kid, how come you don't? Mm -hmm. The dog has no problem setting the laws straight. If your kid puts its hand in fire, it gets burned. Not the third time, not a three-strike law. That very first time, it's going to burn it exactly the same way as the third time. This is the permissive society, and the reason we're all going to hell is because we've allowed it. The reason there are drug dealers on the street instead of public executions, which I would put there, is because <laughs> we allow it. And then we wonder, why is crack in our neighborhood? Because we allow these shitheads to live there. Right. Mm -hmm. you get, they should be taken yeah. out. Do you get pissed off at Kiss shows then, looking at your audience? No. 
because they're all just hammered and join the tunes. There, you're allowed to leave. You're allowed to lead your life your way. Yeah. But I'm not interested in the whining. Right. <laughs> now, and is it true uh, that your kids have to make their own money? Yes. Maybe too personal. I'm sorry, but not at all. My life's an open book. Yeah. But you have confidence, right. and you'll give them all the tools, and and you have. I'm sure you have confidence that they're going to just be amazing in the business They'll world kill. if that's what they choose. Sure, but uh, the idea that your mom and dad give you uh, what? What's the weekly salary uh, allowance? Allowance. I've never given that. Not a I penny. I never got allowance. Growing no. Up. For what? Go do something, and then you negotiate a price. There's, you know, I want to clean up my room. Give me ten bucks. What? Right. Ten bucks for cleaning my room. Right. Cook me a meal too. Maybe that's ten bucks. What do you guys do for fun well, as a family? Pardon my interruption. Is this asshole really going to run for Senate, Ventura? Is <laughs> <laughs> this guy. asshole really going to run for Senate? We should tell Gene. We had an, uh, an extremely intense uh, um, uh, interview with Mr. Ventura. Ugh. Why? What happened? He's just a dick. Nine Eleven shit. He's a conspiracy theorist. A big dope. Ah, ah, his big dumb mouth. He's convinced. Well, maybe Gene's convinced. Who knows? Right, but whatever, we'll go with it. He uh, he's convinced that uh, Building Seven had uh, uh, explosives in it. Yeah, you could see. I was a Navy SEAL. I knew what that no, was. His whole no, you can't. No, you rap. Can't. You can't do that. No, he that, did. That's that was his whole rap. He, we're like, he really what? believed that uh, what? we uh, we brought the buildings down. It's like it doesn't well, make I guess more we sense. We sank our own ships at Pearl Harbor yeah. so we can get into war. Well, but, but people thought that we too. We try to explain to them, like, you don't even know the Twin Towers. People are, are working every day. They didn't notice anybody, like, setting the building to, to you know, to collapse. But, you, but you would notice. Why would we do that, though? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. His head is moving. Does he have Parkinson's? N no, no one. Because she's probably, hopefully, there's this thing oh no that's no, not now okay probably challenging him i don't know what but he fool. said some crazy shit and jimmy and uh and him went at it man. some people can't accept the fact that we are um not liked especially in that part of the world um and the people that didn't like us came over here and and punched us in the eye they want to think you know oh it was our government they love conspiracies some kind of mystery something to solve no it's people that hate us Came over here for whatever you're reason. Using politically correct language because when you really want to say is extremists. Yeah. Uh, the Swiss have been good this year, Animals. so they ain't the Swiss. Savages. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Savage savages. I thought you guys were going to get at me more. Like uh, I'm just sitting here. No. Like, well, we like. What's you know what? something? I like just bullshitting with you about anything. And you you're know? right. And you're right. Twelve thirty to uh, when is it? Friday. I'm doing a book signing. Because some of you guys tune in late. Yep. At Barnes, Barnes and Noble, Noble. <laughs> on Fifty Seventh, and you're welcome to come Wait, down I... with your kiss books. No, you're not. Fifty Seventh <laughs> 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 yeah. and Fifth at twelve thirty. Yeah. Now that we all are getting along, why not just and sign a few kiss things? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm, I'm happy to do that, but not there. <laughs> if you see me on the street before, I'm happy to sign for it. Well, not, not the vultures. Gene, I know we're wrapping up, but I gotta play something for you. Uh, yeah. Somebody is making money off you. And I got a copy of it. What? I know you got to leave in a minute or two. I yes. don't have a clue. I hope somebody's I've keeping been, track. I've been waiting <laughs> for this. I've been waiting to play this for you, and I think you should go after this guy. Sure. Because he's making money off uh, off one of your songs. Sure. All right, here it is. Beth, I hear you calling, <laughs> but I can't come home right now. Because me and the boys are doing some radio. Can't find the sound. <laughs> now, what would you do if you found that guy? Oh. What would I do? Uh, well, I always, I always hated that song. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> Is he really? 